This week on The Wire, house prices rising in most markets, rental shortage crisis gets worse, and migration helps drive a new home sales. G'day guys, my name's Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. Now kicking it off with our top story for this week, house prices rising in most markets. So price growth is continuing in most markets across Australia with the latest CoreLogic figures revealing a 0.7% national increase in dwelling values in March, and that's up from 0.6% in February. Now growth in house prices is being led by the smaller capital cities, notably Brisbane and Adelaide, and the regional markets with Sydney and Melbourne showing small decreases in March. Now, the biggest March growth occurred in regional South Australia at 2.9%, regional Queensland at 2%, Brisbane 2.1%, Adelaide 2% and regional New South Wales 1.8%. But there was also growth in apartment markets with 14 of the 15 markets, eight capital cities and seven state regional markets recording increases in median prices in March. And that was led by regional WA at 2.5% and regional Queensland at 2.2%. Now in the March quarter, six markets, which was Brisbane, Adelaide, and the regional areas of New South Wales, Queensland, South Australia, and Tasmania, grew their house prices by 5% or more. And in annual terms, Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide, Hobart, Canberra, and the regional areas of New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, and Tasmania have all risen 20% plus. Now for our next story. Rental shortage gets worse. So it's becoming even harder to find a rental property with new data from Domain revealing the national vacancy rate hit a record low 1% in March. Now vacancies fell in five of the capital cities during the month while they increased slightly in Hobart and held steady in Perth. Now Domain's an analysis shows Adelaide's vacancy rate of 0.2% is the lowest vacancy rate ever to be recorded across any capital city since it began keeping records. Now Canberra, Darwin and Perth have all time low vacancy rates of 0.5% and Sydney's vacancy rate is 1.4%, Melbourne is 1.8%, Brisbane 0.7% and Hobart 0.3% while most regional markets have vacancies below 1%. Now, Domain says Australia is well and truly in a rental crisis, which looks unlike, unlikely, I should say, to ease anytime soon. It's being made worse by the reopening of international borders in recent months and natural disasters. Now, the reopening of borders is expected to increase demand for rental properties in Sydney and Melbourne in particular. And now, guys, time for our final story of the week. Migration helps drive new home sales. So renewed interest from international buyers is expected to continue to drive new home sales now that international borders have reopened. Now, while new home sales have been strong in the past two years as a result of financial stimulus measures, such as things like the Home Builder Scheme, developers are already reporting a return of international buyers. Now, Nathan Blackburn of Cedar Woods told The Australian that 14% of the inquiry they received in the past month came from overseas, with interest from Britain, New Zealand, Malaysia, China, and Hong Kong. He says pent up demand from overseas buyers who wanted to come here and work or study is coming through following all the lifting of restrictions. By June, we expected the data to show a strong upswing in overseas buyer numbers. Now he predicts overseas buyers who have been effectively locked out of the market for two years will move faster to buy in the coming years. Now population forecasts predict overseas migration will return to pre-pandemic levels within the next two to three years. Well guys, they are the top stories happening this week. So please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, that's action. Thanks a lot, bye for now.